Portland is by far the most important city in Maine in terms of population and uh, economic activities. It is also one of the larger cities in uh, New England. The city itself of Portland is populated by 60,000 people and uh, it is what we are mainly going to be looking at in this video but we are also going to look at a bunch of suburbs and add uh, a couple of facts from Wikipedia. So let's get started. We can already see there are some solid, uh, solidly tall buildings here, uh, both old and uh, more modern ones. This is pretty cool to see and they seem to be in pretty cool, um, pretty good shape, sorry. Uh, here we got a time and temperature building, looking pretty good and uh, okay, a nice pedestrian plaza here to the right. It seems to be a city that will punch uh, way above, above its uh, weight because uh, it's only 60,000 people who live here in the city itself. Yeah, and we even saw someone biking. We have not seen many biking uh, here until now. Uh, but yeah, the pedestrian infrastructure here is very good by American standards uh, and even by uh, world standards, I guess. It's pretty good. And uh, many people are walking, like, for, for a city this size. Many people outside and walking and stuff. Um, and yeah, the mix between uh, old buildings and modern ones, pretty cool. Yeah, it's interesting, like, there are a lot of, like, larger buildings here in Portland, even though it's uh, technically a small urban area in the US, but I guess it's kind of bigger than it should be, because it's in a small state, so it gets all the, all the major services and stuff. Wow, this is a nice old uh, row of uh, houses, very old. And very, yeah, this, the thing is with this city is very interesting, there, is, there are plenty of distinct areas inside the central town, unlike many places in the US. Here we have a small cobblestone street. Yeah, this is definitely a very interesting and full of character place. Okay, some bike racks. Always good to notice. Uh, kind of sad they didn't make uh, an actual bike path, but maybe it's not needed here. Okay, here we're kind of outside the old city. Maybe there's a bit more here. This is newer. Yeah, okay. Adding some density and apartments. That's pretty good, always. As you always know, American cities, they desperately need uh, apartments because of uh, all the decades of single-family housing planning. Okay, I want to look at this particularly. This particular old building, sorry. Wow, this is uh, interesting. What is it? City Hall, of course. Very beautiful city hall, by the way. So, yeah, the architecture is also gonna be ranked pretty well here in uh, Portland. Very interesting architecture. Oh, this is a very tall uh, wooden building. Okay, let me look at down here. It looks like there is a social housing project maybe inside this building. It's by far the tallest building in the city, I'm assuming. And it's still continuing down here with, uh, with the density and stuff and not so much parking. I think, for an American city. Uh, please give me a better view. 
you can see you could see that uh, in 2008 something like this it was already done like this with the sidebox it was already pretty good so CD is in advance in terms of uh, urban planning but yeah it's very interesting and lots of different types of neighborhoods here in the in the center lots of retail also wow this is a nice square honestly even though i knew it was gonna be interesting to look at portland because it's uh, one of the oldest cities here in the united states and it's one of the large uh, new england cities so i knew it was gonna be interesting but still this is this is surprising to me like the diversity in terms of architecture is very impressive you can see buildings for from all the periods uh, of the US everywhere inside the old town so very interesting and many parks also so yeah this is definitely gonna rank high up inside the urban planning scale Plenty of stuff to do everywhere, that's always what you want to have in a city. Little neighborhood park. Yeah, cool, cool architecture here with the tree houses. Yeah, this is very diverse in terms of housing. Wow, an interesting. Although the neighborhood kind of looks like what you you can see in Lewistown, for example, or Bangor as well. I think we saw some neighborhoods like this. Yeah, I very much like those kind of houses, uh, which are row houses, I believe. Yeah. And a little church as well and then an apartment building and you know you're going to have some houses behind it yeah around here it's very diverse and this is how it should be another interesting factor about portland is that over 15 percent of the population walk or bike to work which is a very high amount for the u.s Let's take a look at the ma one of the major bad things here about Portland, which are the highways. Portland has many highways, like especially for a city this size, uh, even as compared to other cities, the same size in the US. Like here we are um, on uh, the highway to go north from the city center and it's very uh, wide like eight lanes, it's pretty wide for a city this size. And then we have many large interchanges here on the uh, central part. And yeah, two highways radiating out of the city. That's um, not quite needed because we have this uh, ring uh, motorway with six lanes, so it should be enough. So yeah, that's one of the sad things about Portland. Another great factor in terms of urbanism is uh, the high amount of public parks that we have. We have this one which is just a short walk from the downtown. We also have the one we saw at the beginning to the north of the city. And we have a great amount of small parks and squares around the town. And just overall, lots of trees planted everywhere. So it is a very nice and peaceful area if you forget the highways of course uh, and we also have a, a bunch of bike paths we didn't see much of inside the downtown itself but uh, here for example there was one we also got a nice bike path here along the bay so yeah quite a solid amount of uh, bike paths and uh, yeah we also saw that um, over 15 percent of the people are biking or walking to work so those are probably gonna be used a lot so that's very good 
considering all I've said so far about Portland, I think it's fair to give it a 9 out of 10 in terms of urban planning. The only uh, bad thing are the highways uh, cutting through the, well, it's not the downtown, but the city center. Um, there is also a kind of lack of public transit, especially like some kind of bus rapid transit, but um, you never find those in an American city with a metropolitan area of less than a million, so it's uh, it's overall pretty good in terms of urban planning here in Portland. In terms of architecture, I'm gonna give Portland a 10 out of 10 because it's truly amazing that for a city this size you can find all types of buildings and architecture and uh, you can find this everywhere like basically in the, the downtown and even in the central part of the city and also if you go outside the old town and up to the neighborhoods which are also old you are gonna find uh, a lot of pretty houses and architecture as well with old churches and a good mix between apartment buildings and row houses single family housing and yeah it's very diverse so this justifies my uh, choice in terms of architecture <laughs>